Hey, court reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Former Love is Blind cast members are truly going in on the show lately. I, I'm not aware, I'm not sure if you guys read the Business Insider article. It's paywalled, so I didn't get to read the full thing. But uh, some people were talking about the what they're calling inhumane working conditions while they were filming for the show, so as being pushed to drink a lot of alcohol and whatnot, and being deprived of sleep, et cetera, et cetera. Then we had Danielle from season two talking about how she doesn't feel as though she ever should have made it for casting because of her own mental health challenges over the years. She felt as though the producers specifically sought her out because she was mentally ill and they wanted to use those uh, illnesses against her, right? Like she said that she had already attempted her own life um, to end her own life a couple of times, and she had disclosed that. So she really does not understand how they went, huh? This is probably a good candidate for television. So there's a lot of this coming out. The latest person to kind of decide to pick up a mic and enter the conversation is none other than Amber from season one of the show. So just to refresh your memory, Amber, at the time of filming, was not employed. She was formerly an army mechanic and... Um, she had some student loans or whatnot that she didn't ultimately end up paying. It's a misconception that her husband, Barnett, paid off the loans by selling his house, but he had his own student loan debt as an engineer, right? And so that's ultimately why he wound up selling his house, but that is neither here nor there. So anyway, they met on season one of the show. They've been married ever since. It's going on almost five years now. So you would think that they'd be happy and like loving of the show and grateful and everything, but no, it turns out that they too suffered some sort of trauma from filming. And I just wanted to um, shine a spotlight on it for you guys. So she recently posted a photo of she and Barnett for Easter. And in the comment section, I'm going to put it up here and read it from my phone because it's a little bit difficult for me up there on the screen. So someone in her section said, hey, Amber, who is your favorite couple from season four of the show? And that is where Amber reveals that she and Barnett don't even watch Love is Blind. So the fan responds by saying, wow, um, kind of surprised since that's where you found the love of your life. To which Amber responds, we are together in spite of that show, not because of it, which I find to be very interesting because one would normally assume that they're together because of the show, because they met on the show, right? And then the show pushed them to sh s sh or get off the pot, right? In terms of commitment and whatnot. And they ultimately decided to sh. So um, that's interesting. But then again, in light of all the stuff that's coming out about the show, about the way that these people are allegedly treated behind the scenes, I understand her perspective about them really fighting to make it work despite the hostile working conditions that they were allegedly subjected to. It's just really interesting to kind of hear it directly from the mouth of someone who full-blown got married from the show, especially an OG marriage of the show. So, um, wow, uh, incredible for Amber to actually full, uh, speak out on that. Now, a little bit later, someone asked, did you guys argue with the show content creators or as in like what's happening here? Because you didn't show at the reunion. You guys are our favorite couple ever. Season one is the best. So at this point, Amber responds to that person saying, I told them to stay away from us. So it looks like she does not want herself or Barnett ever mentioned on the show again. We know that uh, these two, in addition to Lauren and Cameron, are the darlings from season one. Though I will say it's more Lauren and Cameron that people adore. I know a lot of people had problems with Amber. And uh, Barnett seemed a little bit shady, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. But... Um, yeah, don't don't expect them to come back as like a season five situation. I know a lot of people want Nick and Vanessa replaced as hosts, especially Vanessa. Don't expect the Barnetts to go ahead and take that over, although I don't think people were asking for that in the first place. Uh, again, I think it was Lauren and Cameron that people were looking for or just other professional hosts. It doesn't even have to be a couple right at the end of the day. Um, I wish Amber released more details about what it is that she and Burnett actually went through because each, each experience is unique and different. If I were to guess, I would say that perhaps the situation in regards to how she was portrayed as kind of like this unemployed girl looking for a man to take care of her so she can just go ahead and pop out some baby situation is not too kindly to. Uh, at least I will take too kindly to. Although the show did clarify that 
she paid off her own, or sorry, they didn't even clarify that she paid off her own um, student loan debt. I think she had to clarify it herself on Instagram. Maybe that's another reason why she is upset with the show. I can't imagine like at least a couple other, I think that, remember the love triangle that went down between herself, Barnett and Jessica, who is now married to a that too could have something to do with it. Honestly, I think there's a lot of possibilities here when it comes to why she might be pissed off at the show. I think that each reason is uh, very much valid at the end of the day because there's a lot of things that went down and I think that she saw a lot of real life consequences as a result of these things. So what can you do but just like listen and understand? I do hope that one day she hops onto one of those like Love is Blind podcasts. You know how Deep T and Natalie have a podcast. They have a specifically about time, but they do talk about the show and whatnot. Like they do have a YouTube channel as well when they talk about the show. So it would be interesting to see them pop on and just like all kind of commiserate about their experiences filming the show. That could be definitely very interesting to talk about why it is that this couple is really on the outs with Netflix telling them to stay away from them, the production company and whatnot, not wanting to come back, not wanting to be mentioned in future episodes, and the Hamiltons, who seem to be all about it and grateful for being able to find each other there. Another reason I think she might be pissed is because of the way this love triangle went down. But I think that she has mainly her fiancé to blame for that because, again, in the reunion where Amber was lambasting Jessica, she let it be known that she had no idea that these conversations between Barnett and Jessica were even going on behind her back until the show debuted on Netflix. Her own husband had been hiding this for years from her, right? And I don't think that that's a production issue. Sure, it's annoying that they asked these two to continuously film about their emotions and whatnot, but it is television at the end of the day. It's up to your husband to honor you or your fiance at the time to honor you. And um, not let someone speak to speak about you so poorly because Jessica used to like she used to go in on Amber. She used to like basically call her a simpleton, someone who's got nothing better to do than to admire a man all day, right? Because she, um, yeah, they're they're just coming from extremely different backgrounds and whatnot is what I will say on that. But yeah, anyway, I, I get where Amber could be coming from. If even half of the things that these people who have participated in this show are saying is true. I can understand why that would anger someone who has participated in it. So I'm going to go ahead and give her the benefit of the doubt um, in this video and just say, listen, if this is the best decision for you guys, your relationship, your family and whatever you've got going on, go ahead and step back from the show and um, continue on in your lives and in your situation and whatnot. Um, you know, I, my last kind of theory is that maybe Amber was upset about the way that she appeared on after the altar. I'm sorry, but the girl, she was giving pick me from day one. And then after the altar, she full blown solidified it with the way that she treated LC. LC was dating Mark, the forever victim from season one. Turns out that he was a cheater this whole time, cheating on Jessica, cheating on LC, cheating on his now wife and baby mama. He was just cheating on everyone. And he gave LC COVID and she was upset about it. And Amber basically told her, that Matt, Mark cheating on her doesn't matter because they weren't married, which to me was like, girl, please, the pick me of all pick me's because you were pissed off at Jessica and Barnett and the conversations that they were having before you two were married. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? At the end of the day. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. I just wanted to let you know that Amber, she's not feeling love is blind. She does not think love is blind for her and Barnett meeting and marrying. And um, she just wants them to stay away from her. I will say, though, as angry as she is with the show, I think it's not I don't think it's fair to say that they they are married and whatnot in spite of the show. Um, no, there would never have ever been another huge incentive for these two to get married, um, especially so quickly, if not for the show. Who knows if they ever would have even met? You know, I felt like she could have just said, like, yeah, we met on the show. But it ends there. You know, I'm grateful for that. But like they provided a lot. They presented us with a lot of obstacles. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't love the way she said it, but I digress. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.